let's practice what you've learned in the last lecture. Let's create an enemy for this player. We're going to use for that goblin that is in troops folder torch and we're going to use for example maybe not red guy but purple guy and let's move this into us try to do what i will do without looking at this lecture okay when you finish try to see what i did because i will try to remind you about some definitions that we've already learned in this engine okay i want you to practice if you don't practice you are not gonna become game developer okay so in order to add another guy here we need to attach to our root place so to our root game node right to the main scene that we see here something what is called another node right so another element and in order to do it we can click on plus or control plus a let's remove these guys okay and when i hit control plus a i can find now everything that is connected to 2d games by typing 2d and i will choose now character body 2d because i want a character that is specialized for movement maybe i will change my mind later okay well it happens don't worry we could start from something like this because hey i just i'm not sure what's gonna happen later with this body will i need to have it rigid whatever it means you will soon learn right but it doesn't matter if you don't know just use, choose this one you can change it later right let's say we're gonna use this and now we need to attach a sprite to this new character body how do we do it we need to attach to this thing another node which is the sprite animated right because we want animation of our tortured goblin and now when we go to animation we need to choose new sprite frames and then we need to hit this again and now we need to hit add frames from the sprite trees we're gonna choose the torch guy and we need to what divide it properly so i think it's like this seven on five this time and i'm gonna choose using the shift so the first i'm gonna click and then shift it's gonna choose all the frames at once and now we've got our goblin here right good we need to auto start the animation let's make it a bit smoother and as you can see now we can play to see it that's great so we've got our enemy and we can move him for example here right but you probably notice that well we move this but hey this thing the node the main node is not in the right spot so we need to somehow move both of guys at the same time and this is really problematic not only because well right now we've got what only a single enemy let's say we've got more of them so how do we create more of them do we create another node and again add animation that would be horrible right if you had to create games like this well you can of course use the script for attaching new enemies but the ones that the game starts with i think it's better to put on the main scene right but <laughs> i'm not gonna lose my precious time like this so I'm going to duplicate this thing here. In order to do this, I right click and then hit on duplicate or use the shortcut Ctrl plus D. So I'm going to duplicate it. And as you can see, each time we created a new guy and each time we've got some problems with what? With, as you can see, uh, where the plus sign is, right? And where the our body of character is. <laughs> so it's a problem because later you want to have something what is called collision so you want to like hey this guy hit this one okay so this is that right or we need to take 5 HP from this guy and if we had to move all the things separately that would be horrible right the second thing that you have probably noticed is that we've got here a player enemy 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 and all these things are called the same so the first thing we should do is to change the name of the node so if you hit the name and hit the f2 or you double click here you can change the name of the node oh so the name of the component we want to attach to our game okay so this is a node. so it's better now now we should do the same for enemy and you will notice that the problem is now that we need to know what 
do it three times. If I change my mind, I will need to do again it a few more times. What if I add something specific to this enemy again? Like for example, the collision, right? Or I attach a sound. Do I need to now add it to all of the, these enemies manually? It's just, uh, it would be bad if we had to do it like this, right? And that's why we can create some kind of sub scene, okay? So something that is gonna represent the entire enemy. So we don't need to repeat ourselves, okay? And you will notice uh, here also something like uh, when I move this guy, here is something like this. And if I want to keep this and this together, okay? Because yes, you can. If this is just a single node, you could do it this way. You just hit this, group selected nodes, okay? So it means that, hey, I want to group them. And now when I'm moving, I'm moving both of them at once, always. So this solves some kind of problem with the movement, but still we need to repeat ourselves if we change something to this guy, right? So we need some kind of class. So something that will be like a blueprint for creating enemies, right? We need a blueprint for creating enemies. And how to create a blueprint like that, I will show you in the next lecture. Have a good day.